can't really blame either of them. Hi guys, hope you all are doing good. Your boy Al is here with episode 7 review of Ashinoko season 2 so let's get things moving. At first we see Kana and Kamashita perform their roles in the Tokyo Blade stage play, with Kamashita noticing Kana's ad-libbing and praising her acting skills. Aqua then joins in and delivers his lines. The scene shifts to Akane, who is performing as Princess Saya. Abiko, in the audience, reflects on her expectations for Saya's character in the stage play, with a shot of the Tokyo Blade manga and stage play script. As Akane begins her performance, Abiko is amazed by her portrayal of Saya. The focus then returns to Aqua, Taiki, Kana, and the others as they continue their performances on stage. To be honest, Kana is really good at what she does, but sometimes she gets ahead of herself or just straight up loses confidence, otherwise she would have been much more successful, but at the same time it's very understandable why she would behave in such a manner, it's basic human nature after all. We see that during a scene between Kana and Akane, Kana wonders why Akane seems so bitter towards her. Internally, Akane admits she doesn't want to lose to Kana and acknowledges that Kana is the reason she became an actress. A flashback follows, showing a young Akane watching one of Kana's TV shows with her parents. Akane expresses her admiration for Kana as an actress. Her mother suggests Akane pursue acting as a career, mentioning they received a pamphlet for a children's theater company called Ajisai. Although Akane is hesitant due to her shyness, her father encourages her by saying she might become friends with Kana if she pursues acting. A montage then shows Akane training, with her expressing her desire to become like Kana. I always thought Kana must have been the reason why Akane started acting or something like that, but I didn't expect Akane to be so influenced by Kana that she literally wanted to be a second Kana, but this makes their dynamic really interesting. Moving on we see Akane and her mother arrive at an audition site. While Akane gets a beverage from a vending machine, a man notices her and mistakes her for Kana. Shortly after, Kana arrives, and the man leaves. Akane asks Kana about the man's comments regarding the audition, feeling uneasy about the possibility of Kana cheating to win. Kana informs Akane about rigged auditions and confirms that this one is rigged. She explains why it's beneficial for people to choose someone with more fame over someone with better acting skills. Akane challenges Kana's attitude, but Kana slaps Akane's hat off and tells her to stop imitating her. The whole situation could have gone in a very different direction if Kana reacted calmly, but it was pretty clear that she was really frustrated and annoyed at something, so she took it out on Akane, and I think that was a good thing for Akane as an actor, because otherwise she would never try to surpass Kana. Then we see a brief montage of Akane and Kana, during which Akane reflects on Kana's childhood remarks. Akane realizes why Kana abandoned her original acting vision to pursue a path that benefits others more than herself. Akane admits she values the selfish and powerful Kana of the past and dislikes the current Kana and the influence her adult superiors had on her. Akane then demonstrates the acting style she wishes Kana would return to. Before Kana can respond in kind, she sees a vision of her former self, which leads her to back off and support Akane's stage presence instead. Like I said before, Kana tends to lose confidence in herself, because she is someone who has fallen from all heights of fame to become almost a nobody, and it's very hard to cope up with something like that while not being afraid of the same thing happening again. At the end we see Akane feels upset by Kana's decision as the curtain closes. Backstage, she wonders if she was being too egotistical and selfish. Aqua arrives to comfort her and shares some insights about Kana. Akane expresses her desire to outshine the Kana she once idolized. Aqua understands and promises to help Akane bring out Kana's former acting style. Kana is the reason Akane is here today, so it's very normal for her wanting to outshine Kana when both of them give their very best, but I'm more curious to see what Aqua will do to make Kana give her all. Overall this was a good episode that gave more depth to the complicated relationship between Akane and Kana. Also by the time I upload this video, episode 8 should already be out. Anyways thanks for watching everyone.
If you like my video then check out some of my other videos. Also don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel or leave a comment if you want to say something. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram or check out my Facebook page. Links are given in the description. Until then see ya.